comes to the issue of mega corporations and their shady dealings over the food products we consume, the focus on Monsanto can make it easy to overlook other corporations that are just, if not more dangerous to the public good. Which is why today I want to talk a little bit about Nestle, the largest food company in the world. Nestle Group is based in Switzerland and takes in an estimated $1 billion in annual revenue. And no, not just from chocolate milk sales. You see, Nestle serves as an umbrella corporation for over 29 different brands, including several varieties of bottled water like Arrowhead, Deer Park, Ice Mountain, Ozarka, Poland Spring, and Zephyr Hills. In fact, Nestle Water is probably the company's most profitable commodity. You see, Nestle rakes in an absurdly outrageous amount from bottling and reselling the water it extracts from the ground. Take, for instance, its processing plant in Wellington County, southwestern Ontario. According to Canada's largest citizens organization, Canadians.org, Nestle pays $3.71 for every million liters of water it pumps from the local watershed, which it then packages into single-use plastic bottles and sells back to the public for as much as $2 million. Let me break this down for you real quick. $3.71 for every million liters repackaged and sold back to the public for $2 million. That's a profit markup of 53,908,255%. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, but Nestle's making almost $54 million in sheer profit on water alone. Furthermore, in its relentless pursuit of revenue, Nestle, which operates in 86 different countries, pursues ways to remove the restrictions that would prevent it from pumping water during droughts. Yes, droughts. You know, when there's no water. <laughs> because heaven forbid Nestle misses a penny of that $54 million percent profit just because a few villagers are dying of thirst. At this point, you're probably wondering how it's even possible for one corporation to make such a staggering, mind-blowing profit margin on a natural resource that should be a right, not a privilege. Well, it could have something to do with the philosophy of a man named Peter Brabick, Nestle's CEO. Wasser ist ein Lebensmittel, und so wie jedes andere Lebensmittel sollte das einen Marktwert haben. Ich persönlich glaube, es ist besser, man gibt einem Lebensmittel einen Wert, so dass wir alle bewusst sind, dass, dass das etwas kostet und dann anschließend versucht, dass man mehr spezifisch für diesen Teil der Bevölkerung, der keinen Zugang zu diesem Wasser hat, dass man dann dort etwas spezifischer eingreift und da gibt es ja verschiedene Möglichkeiten. Now in case you didn't get all that, let me paraphrase what Breivik just said. According to him, water should be privatized and apply to price like every other resource on the planet. He even goes as far as suggesting that the idea that water is a right of all people is an extreme one. Whoa! Better watch out for those extremist human beings who dare assume that they have a right to something they can't live without. Guys, this is the same corporation that donated over a million dollars to prevent GMO labeling in California. And furthermore, Nestle has been the target of an international boycott for some time. See, it's aggressively marketed baby foods and infant formula that has contributed to the deaths and suffering of children around the world. So the next time you reach for that bottled water, think about Nestle, the big corporation that's immensely profiting while sucking the world dry, leaving millions of people without a drop to drink.